weekend. It was great. So our family drove up to Fort Wayne, Indiana and to a place called Winona Lake and we were celebrating Topher's grandparents 60th anniversary. Wow. Yeah, 60 wow. years. That's so incredible. I have a photo of Sawyer and Grandpa Belair. She, my kids just love him so much. Um, Cannon loves him too. So the entire family was there, which I guess had not happened in 15 years. So we took a photo, oh, wow. everybody was there. Um, needless to say, in 15 years, things changed. Like the, all of the cousins and they, everybody got married. Um, Cannon met his second cousins right there and he had so much Aww. fun playing with them. They were running around being boys, throwing sticks at each other and stuff. And then we also got to go out on the lake. We went on a little pontoon and nice. Sawyer loved it. She was just absolutely amazed by just like being on water and just like uh -huh. going. She loved it. Oh yes. My yeah. girls love and did she fall asleep right. when you were moving? She didn't, and she was so tired too. But yeah, she she kind of fought yeah. it, didn't she? she, yeah, was she like, no, oh I'm yeah, not she was fighting it. She just loved it. <laughs> so this week, uh, we left our kids there with the grandparents. So I don't know so what you're to kidless? do with myself. Yeah, bro. I'm so week. jealous. I don't know what to do. I really Are don't. You kidding? I like feel like I ha I'm like, what's my purpose? Like, purposes have so good time. I texted Topher and I was like, we must do date week. This yes. will be date week. Yes, yeah. go to all so the places know. that you it feels couldn't so go weird. with kids. I know, but you it feels know? weird mm -hmm. and empty and sad. Yeah, hmm. that'll, that'll go away. <laughs> okay. Quickly, I'm sure. <laughs> all right, we have some awesome news this morning. On Friday, we had our RV SPCA Pet of the Week hook on the show. You hook. missed him, but he's okay. so cute. Adorable 98-pound Labrador doodle. And we're happy to report that he found his forever oh, home oh this weekend. Gosh. Look how sweet he is. He's so cute and fluffy. It, oh, gosh, I love those Labradoodles. Yes. All right, summer is officially underway, and Splash Valley is the place to be during these hot summer days. So lucky for you, it is Splash Valley Monday, and we're giving away a family four-pack of tickets so you can have fun in the sun on us. So today's secret phrase is... Splish Splash. Splish Splash. I love it. All right. So find the contest post on our Facebook page and post that code phrase, Splish Splash, in the comments section, and then you're entered to win. We're going to announce our winner tomorrow morning right here on Daytime. So good luck to you. Yes. Okay. Here's a little tip for you. Be careful where you selfie. That's the lesson learned by a visitor to Los Angeles is the 14th factory. It's a temporary art exhibit and factory space currently hosting a show of stylized crown sculptures. But a few weeks ago, one snap happy show attendee caused as much as $200,000 in damage when she toppled domino style a series of sculptures that are now permanently damaged according to a spokeswoman and hey it was all caught on security there video it goes, take there a look it goes, at that there it goes boom 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 i she like slips and falls she's at the top right hand corner yeah she was at the top right, right. she there leaned she over to take a photo like she was in a squat position and then she mm -hmm. fell and i'm clumsy so this is my biggest fear yeah, just it's don't like do destroying that. things. So here we go. Let's watch it one more time. So she's squatting down and, and she falls and there, there you go. $200,000 worth of damage That is terrifying. Just gone. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, many couples like to commemorate anniversaries in different ways. Yeah. You know, you go out to dinner, you maybe go on vacation, but check out what one couple did to honor their 10th anniversary. I love this couple so much. You're going to yes. love them too. Yes. They put their best eighties attire on and took some awkward photos. These are great. great. Okay, so first up, they channeled their inner prom king and queen. <laughs> there you go. Remember the 80s yes. with the laser beams yes, in lasers. the background? I love that. I love it. Okay, so the next one is, I think, their physical fitness. Oh, <laughs> yes. Remember Olivia Newton-John? Let's get yes. physical. Yes. Um, oh and then let's take a look at the next one. Oh, yes. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> the background photos where you're looking off to space very, you know, oh, yeah. uh, seriously. Oh, um, my gosh. And the, apparently the photographer said they had to stop and, you know, compose themselves in between each photo oh because they were having a blast. They said um, they, they shot a lot of these around their neighborhood, and right. so they were getting strange looks from the neighbors, <laughs> you know, who are like, what in the world is this couple doing? I think we have one more. I love um, them. 
I so much. There, there oh, you go. around a tree. Oh, there's two. Okay, so yeah, so there's the the, the fanny packs. Of course, fanny uh -huh. packs. They're coming back. And, and now. <laughs> I love the tube socks. The tube socks. Yeah, that's the first thing I noticed. I love it. Oh, so that's there great. You go. Okay, well, it's just a dating theme. There's a new way to do date night. It is called the Goodwill Date, and it's not only a fun way to find unique clothing items, but it's entertaining and can add just a little more fun to your night. So here's how it works. First, visit Goodwill or really any thrift shop of your choosing. Next, pick out a surprise outfit for your significant other, but the budget is $10 per outfit. And then, oh. of course, you go out for a lovely date and be sure to take a photo to share with the world. So this trend, I guess, keeps coming in and out of popularity, but I recently saw it, so I was like, you know what? We have to share it. And Topher and I are having date week, so I oh, think we might go. do a Goodwill date night. You should totally do it. Yes, we should. You know, one time Topher and I, um, we went on a date and we were super on a budget, but you know how when you get gift cards, there's usually just like a little bit left right. on each gift card. Mm -hmm. So we had a date where it was, we just took all of the gift cards, like called the number to see exactly how much, and then we just went through and we just spent the remaining, the remaining balance of all of our gift cards. And so it was like just like little tiny things here and there. And it was one of the most fun dates ever. So oh, there's another idea for you. If you have a bunch of gift cards for, it was uh -huh. like years of gift cards. Right. And that was so fun. Well, so, you know, I was, yeah. I was saying that if I did this with Paul, that would actually be a step up for his wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, Paul. It would be. Sorry, would Paul. Be. <laughs> 